five four three two one fire what you're saying yes sir we give thanks to life you know serious thing far right back in the zone let the people know where you was at far right yeah we give thanks still for a safe trip traveling <laughs> out to germany to reggae jam festival and come back in uh, same way so uh, we give thanks, <laughs> uh. a serious thing no camp it was a joy serious thing do remember all about ball head and the dread podcast party live podcast live music sunday august 25th from 6 p.m to 9 p.m we may start early at the ito kitchen 1032 union street brooklyn new york fire what we're reasoning about today yeah well today we are reasoning about the concept of most males um and i, and I don't want nobody feel like say we're not we're not taking nobody out of the conversation <laughs> but we want to focus on because we see this is a big problem when it comes to a lot of males in regards black to males fire. Black, black males fire. in particular because the brothers, them, we know, so we always have to talk to them directly because we can relate to certain things the same way. And I feel like the concept of completing a task, which is something that we see being the ball being dropped, that area is where the ball is being dropped. So we really want to reason about it. And so I try to see some of the reasons why they're them not completing tasks as they should and things that I'm sure some suggestions and give some point of views on how we can improve that, you know? serious thing far and i believe that one of the key components of manhood we need a rites of passage we need to bring that back and uh, one of the key components of manhood is being able to complete a long-term task it's missing me and my brother was reasoning check out the reason with dr j paul hines and he, we were talking about like you know um we we're talking about how men don't trust anybody far right right they have trust issues uh a lot of men don't trust their wife. <laughs> a lot of men don't trust their family. They don't trust the friends. They don't trust the system. They don't trust nothing. Well, the system we understand, right? <laughs> but um, the thing is that the reason they don't trust anyone is because they, they don't trust themselves. They've been untrustworthy to themselves. They've set all these goals and set all these things and they've, they haven't accomplished it. And they quit. So... When you do that consistently now, you molded your mind to not trust yourself and you're projecting that lack of trust. And if you were to actually complete goals, you'll have a better relationship with yourself and it will result in a better relationship with others with discernment, you know, because you can't go around trusting everybody, but they should have more trust for people than they do. And I think that men, especially black men, I can't criticize them. It'd be, it'd be uh, irresponsible to criticize someone who's never uh, been taught how to complete a long-term task nor seen visually or been next to someone who has completed a long-term task because um far you know my favorite saying man uh the greatest segregation is information and is example we always talk about segregation in regards to you know a financial aspect no the greatest form or the harshest form of segregation is access to information and access to example and unfortunately too many brothers don't have access to that example we're both privileged we're spoiled in a sense we grew up privileged not with monetary but being around strong men with great examples so we saw visually you visually saw people complete stuff you visually saw people struggling to overcome obstacles and a lot of people unfortunately don't see it so therefore they don't think that is real and they don't think that they can replicate that behavior you know so one of the key components i believe of manhood is being able to complete a long-term goal because when you complete that long-term goal far right, you know during that process there are a lot of ups downs and turnarounds there are a lot of letdowns there are a lot of setbacks and those are the things that groom me how to be a man out here you know no it's a real thing because you know culturally it's almost like men are expected black black men to in particular expected to be lackadaisical and you know and, and the statement like like where i come from well is here does someone stay you know and it's like it's like i feel like most males start internalize that concept of you know okay i'm a lackadaisical it's, nobody expects me to finish this task or you know so if i if i really cap out of this is just another normal thing so why should i even go through and finish this and then it's almost like the negligence become so them become so comfortable within the negligence that that again i say you see your culture strong because the concept of doing something over and over and that repetition so you see if we can change that repetition and realize that if we actually 
put the effort in repeating some of these processes that we need to do to complete the task, then maybe that could, can be the new culture for replace the negligence because I feel like the negligence is just something over time. Like it's one, it's a stereotype where that stereotype, them start get that to themselves and internalize it. And then beyond the stereotype is also like within the, the immediate circle, there is also no push where, where, where most meals get to complete a task us and i feel like that is our next problem too because it's like it's like males overall internalize things different from how even a female would internalize things right while a female would generally speaking that is while a female would generally speaking be be, be more organized to certain things males being disorganized is a next thing again where where, where everybody accept that whole phenomena and being disorganized is 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 no, 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 it becomes something where it's okay to be disorganized. And it's not like, when we say organized, it's not like you have to have a book, that book and write down every single thing as you go along. But it's almost like conditioning your mind, mind as a male. And I feel like if as a male, you don't have a mind that is conditioned, then you're going to be in trouble because you're expected to, you're expected to, 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 to have that prowess to lead as they would say, or what society would have said, right? males are expected to provide. But how can you be a provider if you don't have the prowess to actually stick out a task. So that become really troublesome now when you think about it, you know? Yeah, and it's, um, you said something I hope people didn't, as you would say, take lightly <laughs> for it, is that that repetition, you know? Um, I had a coach, respect to the great coach, Brandon, always told me, uh, it's, it's the practice isn't the thing, if I, it's that perfect practice, because you can practice a lot of things 24-7, it's not going to help you, you know? And unfortunately, their repetition in certain behaviors and they're becoming so strong in it. They're becoming so strong in quitting. You know, and I hear on the internet, I don't know if it's internet talk, but I hear a lot of criticism about women and accountability, but men accountability, not much stronger. You know, and these are things they have to learn. Like you can't criticize, as I said, they have to learn. You have to learn to be accountable. If you're a grown man, if I, you have to start holding yourself accountable to your word, you know, it could be the simplest of things, you know, uh, whether it's finances, you know, I'm not going to use my credit card or I'm not going to buy this, whether it's food, if I am not going to eat out everything in the <laughs> in the fridge, I'm going to work out. I'm going to work on this task. You don't have to tell anybody. You don't have to post anything, post anything about it. You have to do it and you have to stick with it. You have to do it when you don't want to do it. You have to do it when you want to do it. You have to do it when ain't nothing going on. You have to do it when it's not working for you. You have to continue to do it because that's what men do. You feel me? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, know you, you say a while ago, said that's what men do. You know, we start automatically think, and this is something where I know a whole heap of brothers can can really agree with. Like, right? There's most time men, a lot of men want want that that push to actually complete a task, but them realize that they don't get the push, right? But internally, internally is almost like them them not too sure of themselves or sure of their abilities. Right, so not being sure of sure of your ability as a man now is where I feel like it's almost like a point where you reach where you get confused, and I think that type of confusion is something where it also helps in not completing the task and seeing through the task because even if I did this, so what? Nobody is gonna recognize it. So we have almost overstand to ourselves immediately that it's not about the recognition. It's not about, and even if it's about recognition, it's about recognition from yourself. Because if you don't recognize it, like with you within yourself, then any external recognition don't matter. And I feel like that is one thing where a lot of males need to understand this validation thing. Because once upon a time, male va the validation, male validation was nothing that was really trendy, you know. But now it's now it's very trendy, especially with the rise of social media, where you don't know if a man. Um, have his child or any other thing. Him, 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 want for, him want for make people see, say, okay, I'm doing this. And then when he get the praise now, it almost like it, it probably that is the beginning for boost him to become more consistent. But we have to overstand say, the validation where anybody else would get. Males, generally speaking, don't get that validation because if, if you do something, you're expected to do it. If you do something good, you're expected to do it. If you do something bad, okay, that's just how men, all men are. So you have to understand there's a thin line right there. And that validation that we really is the external validation that we seek. We have to start seeking some internal validation first. Carry out these tasks. Or even within the, the general tasks that we have, um, if we say, all right, we're going to try 
get something together within three months. Every single day that you spend on this task should be a task within itself. So it's almost like small task building up to the larger task. And that is the way we have to really see it. Because you see, if we, if we put our mind upon just the overall goal, we're going to lose sight of the journey where we, we need to really have to fulfill and get towards the bigger picture. So it's almost like a stepping stone. You have to take your time and creep. And it don't mean say you're small or it don't mean say you're stupid or it don't mean say you're slow. Because it's almost like if them do accomplish, most men, male, if they do accomplish something within a particular time span, it's like, oh, yo, all right, on to the next. You know, this this about this, this I take up too much space right now. And it's that carefree, again, that expected carefree behavior start for kind of come out now. And I feel like if we if if we really understand what takes place in that particular moment, then that's when we can really emphasize upon certain things and correct it so we can get towards the task we need to get to, you know serious thing it's a couple of things man one is that men that 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 uh need for constant validation is immature to a certain extent because you need validation still as a human being but you don't need constant validation like a little infant at a child fight you don't need, need nobody running behind you praising you 24 7. men need to get in that later delayed gratification to fire and no nobody gonna praise you for certain things and it is what it is and you need to be your own <laughs> or your, your, your own hype session or your own thing and I will say this, though, if you actually are doing something to a certain level of quality, you will get a compliment at some point. Eventually. You know, I think they're looking for this praise and they haven't reached that level of quality where people can see what you're doing is worth anything. So I think <clears throat> you have to hit that corner to get that. Um, you brought up something that goes. You brought up something else again in regards to jumping ship real quick in regards to task. And it's like that comes to that delayed gratification again. And a lot of it is a cop out looking for anything to quit. Because a lot of that changing and jumping ship just comes when things get rough. That's all it come to if you really see what's going on. When things get a little rough, fire, we're going to jump ship. And we need to stop, or you need to stop consistently doing that. You actually need to stick with something. Because the wild thing about repetition and consistency, fire, even when things not going right, they're going to eventually go right. Reason being, that repetition, you're going to learn more and more. And you're going to gain a skill and just get better at it. And eventually you're going to get a better outcome. But you don't give yourself that time to develop the skill and get those reps in. I could use analogy of sports. You know, people go to the gym, they shoot their 100 shots, their 200 shots every day. Initially, it's probably all bricks. They keep going in that gym every night when no one's looking. They're going to hit more. They're going to hit more. They're going to get more confident. They're going to tweak. Body going to fill. Muscle memory. And they're going to do their thing. You don't give yourself enough time to get better because you're scared. Fire you just come down to fear at the end of the day. Let's call a spade a spade. Dudes out here terrified, scared. And they try to hide it behind so many things. This my cheese wool thing, this tough thing, and all this is like dudes out here are terrified because your action shows you're terrified because you can't stick with anything. Yo, are the key, you see, you see, are the key that's in there. You see the fear right there, so especially we know we know the whole thing go males won't verb gen, generally speaking just won't verbalize certain things see and with that internal you not verbalizing certain things and that fear building up it's almost like that now it take you it take you off of the mission because the mission become too much now it's like a heavy load for, for, for carry out and i want to let him this to you. you see as a warrior as a warrior you have to really know this like it is what it is. You see, the sit the particular situation that 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 you're in, that situation, it is what it is. Like, like, okay, this is where I'm at, and this is where I need to go. And it's not it's easier said than done, you know, because it's, it takes a whole mental stability where you have to get to, you know, for you. But you, you can't change the situation, especially as a warrior. Far, can I add to that great point yeah. before you continue? Yeah. Is that I think some people take too many people, not some people, but too many people, especially their brothers, they take their current position as an absolute reality, not understanding this is where I'm at at this time, at this space fight. This is not my absolute existence. I think that's where they run into a problem. So if they're running their hard times right now, they're struggling, things are not going good. In their mind, they take this, this is life, this is it, and that's not the case for you. This is what you're experiencing at this point of your life. And you have the capability of changing it. You get what I'm saying? So it's like and that's why the point where you make more the fear is so important because, because I feel like I feel like again, it, 
it 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 it's gonna really take you for over oh you have to overcome that fear with, with the mentioned. You have to really overcome that first before you can really move from point A to point B. Because until you, you really address that fear for it's almost like it to continuously hold it back. And then guess what now? If you have aggression, just imagine having fear on the inside and have aggression on the outside. That no work out right. But that's the average man. If I hey, it's one more part I want to add. <clears throat> All right, we spoke about early in regards to uh, building up trust, like why you struggle. I'm telling you, Faya, like why you struggle or why people struggle trusting people because they can't trust themselves. Another part with this trusting yourself is lying to yourself. Yeah, There's too much lying going on, right? So you have different levels of lying or different forms of lying. You have this lie that people tell them that they're not capable of doing anything when they're more than capable of doing if they weren't scared to do it. You have the other lies that think they got on earth when they haven't done anything. You pre it. And you need to be like, you have to do a realistic analysis of yourself, not beating up yourself, but acknowledge where you are because it's very, <clears throat> say we in a navigation system, right? Or we try to get somewhere. We have to know exactly where we are <laughs> on the map to get where we need to go far, right? You pre it. But you have to first identify where you are on the map. Your GPS is off, yeah? It's inaccurate. If you're struggling, you're struggling. That don't make you a bad person, Fire. That don't make you a loser. That it just is what it is. Fire is going through a rough patch at this time. Any brother out there, I want to tell him, man, stop doing this, man. Stop taking your current experience as some absolute. You're not dead, Fire. In front of you breathing, you got potential. Now, if you don't believe you have potential, then that's a personal problem, but you do have potential. Because a lot, of, uh, far, yeah, far. You see what I've been preying. A lot of times, people be talking about the system, this and that. But when you really check it, their thoughts is the main thing holding them back. Straight. Mm -hmm. Straight forward. Because I don't know what yeah. progression you're gonna have sitting around, scared of earth. Far, we was reasoning about how this fear mess up, mess up your meditation. Like when you scared, it, 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 what's going on with you in the universe? That that connection is bad, fire. And you know, and, and you know, so when you really sit down and take it, take it though, the, the, the acknowledgement is really boiled down to the whole fear and the acknowledgement because you see what there is about, 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 about the map and knowing exactly where you are. It's not about that, it's like knowing that precise location. Just like Marcus Gabby tell you already, if it, it, it's just about history for you. You have to use history, his, history just a guide where, where, where it's a leader. If you don't understand your history, they ain't not go overstand anything at all. Like, what have I done in the past? See? And then we think about what have I done in the past? What am I doing in the present? And what am I doing in the present? Now, what will I be doing in the future? So, is you have to evaluate yourself. And it boils down to meditation again. Because as a man, as a man, you know, you can't always move too fast, you know. When you move too fast, it's like, you forget so much different, so much crucial steps towards the, 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 the journey and the process to help you accomplish that task for you. So you see the moment you can slow things down. We know it, we know the world, the real world are hitting and the real, especially when you live in certain places, especially in the US. And you just always have to move so fast. But you see, as a man, especially as a warrior who have a drive or who destined for have a drive, you have to can slow down your brain and say, all right, this is the reality as they say. And that's the acknowledgement because you see, if I want to acknowledge where they are, what they've been doing, what they have not been doing, then it almost like you will never accomplish anything at all. And I feel like that is where we really need to sit down and check yourself to give yourself a check, a reality check. Yo, yo, you know, say, yo, you, you did this, you did it wrong. All right, here I go on. How we correct this? And you see, until we correct this particular point right now, or we correct this down the line, or we set out a time time span for correct the issues then we will go wrong so we can move forward towards accomplishing the task. And so and with these tasks I will speak about, I don't want people to mistake it. You know. It's not about the task of getting a million dollar, the task of doing this or that. We're talking about you know, just some Re simple... Reaching your highest yeah. potential, fire, maximizing your potential, all the gifts that you've yeah. given. Fire, I want to say one last thing. You brought up the great point in regards to like how someone should approach it. I hope they heard you clearly. Not beating up yourself, but acknowledging where you are. No one's telling you to talk down to yourself. No one's telling you to beat up yourself. But you have to have that real conversation to at least identify to say, you know what? 
And it's not even beating yourself up about the past, what you're doing to do. All you want to do is identify where you are now and what is needed for you to get where you want to go. So first thing you need to do is identify where you are and write down where you want to go and write down the things needed to get to that point. If you don't know how to do it, you need to talk to someone who is doing it. You got all these resources online. And the thing is, man, you have to get to the point where you trust yourself. And you get to that point by completing long-term tax fire. There's no way around it. When you say you're going to do something, you have to do it. You have to hold yourself to the highest form of accountability. And by doing so, <laughs> you're going to have better relationships with others because you're going to be able to trust them or at least be open to trusting them. And just have a better experience, whether with friendships or with your wife or with your children, because you're more open to experiencing their love. Because you can trust them. A lot of brothers missing out on love because they don't trust themselves, Fire. But how can you trust yourself <clears throat> when you've been lying to yourself? You yeah. said you was going to do all these things, but you never did it. Remember what I said, Fire. I never talk about like completing the goal in regards to working out the way you thought you were going to do it. I'm talking about completing what you said you were going to do. Because remember, we can't control outcomes. But we can control the effort we put in towards stuff. And I feel like that is the whole thing. To you see, you see not overstanding that you can't control the outcome and i feel like it's weird most 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 man you know, it's almost like you see because we even have the whole aggression we feel like so we can turn our our, our the outcome is something physical physical where we can just man angle and and, and, and serious in the direction no the outcome i want to let you know we might even we might put our all in this whole thing. We might do everything right, but like that is just the way life is. Life is a funny thing, you know. Life is a thing where it don't always work out when you want it to work out, you know. And that is what we need for overstand. We can't get discouraged by certain things too, because you see the small wins them. All right. See if we have a long term goal, and you see the short term goal them where we accomplish are the short term things them. So if we have a box and we if we have a box them, we can check off some box within the midst of trying to accomplish those long, long term tasks if we can check them off and you know, celebrate them you know once they celebrate not over celebrating you know, i feel like that the mission has been accomplished because there's one thing i understand and i can speak to this for sure when you're on the journey and you accomplish small wins sometimes it can get to your head and it can block you from actually accomplishing the the the, the, the true task at hand. And you see when if that hype ever gets to you, because we, we know where that, that is. That's how we can speak to it. I'm honestly saying, if that sometimes you might start celebrating the wrong things, not overstanding that the task has not been accomplished yet. But I'm not talking about that. Just talking about celebrating the small wins, complimenting yourself for the small wins, knowing that the journey, the, the journey of a thousand miles begin with a single step. And I've already made that single step. And I'm making, I know I've made a hundred steps. Okay, so you see the difference between a hundred step and our steps and one step? That is a big, big gap. And even though we have a million step, step, step for accomplish overall, reach a hundred, and it's not that far as you think. Because even, and that's the next part of the game, even if it won't be five years, six years, whatever, it's not as far as you think. Because once you continue continuously putting on, adding to the foundation, adding to the foundation, tweaking, moving. It does require consistency. And once the mindset and the consistency and you get over the fear, that's when every single thing, every single thing start falling into place, fall into place, fall into place until you, you surprise and can't even overstand how you reach to this level. But it's just that you have to have that mindset. You have to have that mindset and start celebrate the small wins them until we reach towards the big wins. And then we take things from this and all. No serious thing, Farai, and hopefully uh, those listen took something from the reasoning. And we do have to remind you, ball head trip podcast, <laughs> ball head the trip podcast party, Farai, um, Sunday, August twenty fifth, six p.m. to nine p.m. We'll be outside at Ito Kitchen, ten thirty two Union Street, Brooklyn. Um, and anything else to let the people know, no. Farai? We just give thanks to the people and support the thing too because I think thanks for everyone that came out, you know? Yeah, and we give thanks to even though so we go around different continent, go fulfill the works, and people really are telling us them taking in the thing and it means something to the people. Not just listening for the sake of listening, but it means something. 
Oh, by the way, everybody need to know, you know, I thought she's an artist too, you know, so only <laughs> <laughs> Serious, oh, Serious thing, Serious thing, serious thing. All right. Yes, I.